Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily Word. I'm really glad that you've joined me. And for our Daily Word today, we're gonna, we're gonna spend just a few minutes talking about faith. We get, we get uh, sort of uh, two perspectives on faith or, or sort of two aspects of faith, we could say. I wanna share with you first from Mark chapter five, verse 28. For she thought to herself, if I can just touch his robe, I will be healed. This woman had been suffering for a long, long time, and she had tried one thing after another, one physician after another, one remedy after another, and she had not gotten any better. And yet she has faith that if she comes to Jesus, as a matter of fact, if she just touches him, that she will be healed. She knows, believes, trusts that there is power and healing in Jesus. Now, for some reason, she decides that she's only going to, to, to touch Jesus, just the, the hem of his garment. And it could be um, that, that she's ashamed, that somehow she doesn't think that she's worthy of a miracle, maybe worthy of, uh, of Jesus' time. And, and so uh, Jesus, <laughs> he sort of tracks her down. And of course, she's afraid when she knows that he's looking for the person who touched him. She's afraid that he's going to rebuke her, but that actually couldn't be further from the truth. He's trying to track her down because faith is relational. She was not just coming to some sort of a magic talisman or something. She was coming to Jesus, the one who came to restore us to our relationship with God. And and so he commends her faith, that her faith has healed her, her faith to come to Jesus to be healed. So first of all, we see the, the faith to come to Jesus, to ask, to seek, to knock. And then we see now in uh, chapter 5, verse 36, uh, another perspective or, or another aspect of faith. But Jesus overheard them and said to Jairus, don't be afraid, just have faith. And of course, uh, all, all the while that we're, we're reading about the woman who came and touched Jesus and Jesus finding her and commending her faith and so forth, we, uh, we feel the immediacy, don't we, of the situation with, uh, with Jairus and his, his family, um, his, his daughter. And uh, then word comes from uh, the family that she has, she has passed, that she's died, and, and so it's over, they, they all believe. Uh, but Jesus makes a different declaration. He calls him to have faith. Now, he has already come to Jesus. He's shown that faith. But Jesus is going to ask him to have the faith to trust him, to not be afraid, and to wait on what he would do. The declaration that Jesus makes She's not dead, she's asleep. And in fact, the crowd that's gathered at the home there, they, uh, believe it or not, um, they laugh at Jesus. They laugh at him. They uh, would say, we, we know what death looks like. We see it all the time. She is not sleeping. We don't know where you're getting that from. She is dead. But the thing is, they know what death looks like, but they don't know the power and the authority of the one who is making this declaration over the little girl. The authority and the power of the one who spoke creation into being, who by his very word shapes reality. That in fact, he can speak life into this little girl, wake her to life, as easily as you or I could wake a sleeping child. And I want to ask you to notice that the Father has faith to come to Jesus and that Jesus is going to, we could say, stretch his faith, uh, stretch his faith beyond what he thinks Jesus can do, what the messenger and the crowd seems to think Jesus could do. They seem to think that he could do something until the point of death. After that, there's nothing he can do. He could heal a sick child, but he, he cannot command a dead child to rise. And so he's going to stretch his faith. 
He asked him to have faith, to not be afraid, to wait on him and what he would do. He calls him to the faith to wait, the faith to wait on him. And so uh, the calling, it seems to me from the scripture today that uh, I really feel like God's put on my heart is that we would have the same faith, that we would have the faith to come to Jesus, to come to him in the word, to, to see how it is that the Lord has invited us to pray, how he's invited us to pray, what he's invited us to pray for, and, and to come to him in prayer, uh, acknowledging who he is and, and calling upon the name that is above every name. And, and then, and then, he is calling us also to have the faith to wait. We know his word, we trust his word, we've come to him in faith, and to have the faith to wait on his timing, to wait on him and the way that he would fulfill his word in our lives, to trust in him, even in that period that, if we're honest about it, feels so uncomfortable, that period between promise and fulfillment, where God speaks into our hearts by his word and says, this is my promise to you, this is what I will do, the time between that and fulfillment can be very difficult. And yet during that time, we have this personal relationship with Jesus. We continue to walk with Him. We continue to bring our prayer, our heart before Him. And we trust Him even as we're in that in-between time. We have the faith to wait on Him. And may it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And friends, until we have a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that he would keep you.